Hello, we have us uh, viewers. Uh, my name is Uska. I'm from the Citizenship Office in Scarborough, and we are here today at Casa Loma, where 64, four, 64 new candidates will be sworn in uh, as new Canadian citizens from 27 countries. All right, Takabanig. Which country you are from? Philippines. We're from Philippines. So, what do you want to say about Canada? Uh, great. <laughs> So far, we're, we're good. Yeah, we, we have been we have stabilized ourselves so far. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with my two kids. This is the youngest, and the eldest is there. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Jerry Kabalik. Where are you from? From the Philippines. This is my wife. What about Canada? It's good, nice country. What's the best thing you like about Canada? Uh, the culture and the place places. That's it. You are getting the citizenship today. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Paul. And how are you feeling today? Mm, excited. Which country you are from? I'm from Cambodia. May I have your name, please? Hi, yeah, Miguel. What's the good thing about Canada? Uh, the people. Yeah, welcoming and yeah, polite, nice. Yeah, people. How are you feeling today? Super excited and honored. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Sidalia Suarez. How are you feeling today? I feel happy. <laughs> I look forward to being a citizen a long time. Now I'm happy. Which country you were from? No. Portugal. That's nice. Congratulations. Your name, please? I'm Vani. So, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great, excited, and I have mixed feelings, <laughs> but I'm feeling good. So what will you do after the citizenship? Uh, like, we have plans, like our family is here, so uh, looking forward uh, to stay here as my, I have my daughter. So she has to have the, her further studies and settle here and have a peaceful life. Congratulations. Good evening and welcome to your citizenship ceremony. My name is Lorenza St. Martin and I will be the clerk of today's ceremony. Today's ceremony will be presided by Judge Rodney Simmons. Before Judge Simmons and the platform party enter the room, the RCMP officer will say, all rise, this ceremony is now in session, at which point everyone in this room will stand. The judge and the platform party will take their place and I will ask, and the RCMP officer will ask you all to be seated as he will officially open the ceremony. The judge will deliver some opening remarks followed by the administration of the citizenship oath. The oath of citizenship is taken in one of two ways. If you choose to affirm, please raise your right hand and say I affirm. If you choose to swear on the holy book, please place the holy book in your left hand, raise your right hand and say I swear. The oath will be administered in both official languages, which are English and French. You must repeat the oath phrase by phrase after Judge Simmons. Children under the age of 14 do not have to repeat the oath, but they may if they wish to do so. Canadian citizens will be invited along with the candidates to reaffirm their citizenship. I will ask you to stand during the administration of the citizenship oath. Taking the oath of citizenship is the final requirement to become a Canadian citizen. Again, you must repeat the oath phrase by phrase after Judge Simmons. If there is any doubt you have not repeated the oath, you will not be called to receive your Canadian citizenship certificate. Once you have taken the oath, the judge will present you with your certificate. So we will start by number one and we'll go uh, number by number. So everybody else will follow. You will come to the front of the room, receive your certificate from Judge Simmons, then go to the side of the room, to the back of the room, sign the oath form, then come back to your seat. You should understand that by signing the oath form, you are signing that you have taken the oath of citizenship and you are not subject to any criminal or immigration proceedings since filing your application to become a Canadian citizen. Parents must sign the oath form for any children under the age of 14. 
After all the certificates have been presented, the judge will deliver some closing remarks, and we will also receive, you will also receive some congratulatory remarks from our platform party. I will then keep everyone to, everyone to stand for the singing or our national anthem. You will be singing O Canada for the very first time as Canadian citizens. Please sing it loud and with pride. The words to O Canada are included in your program. I will keep everyone in for a few minutes at the end of the ceremony to provide you more information about your new certificates. Please note that photographs and videotaping are permitted during the ceremony. However, out of courtesy, please do not disrupt the flow of the ceremony. Please ensure that all your electronic devices are either on silent or vibrant mode. I will now inform Judge Simmons and our platform party that the ceremony is ready to begin. Thank you. Judge Simmons, in accordance with the provisions of the Citizenship Act, it is my privilege to present to you 64 candidates for citizenship who have complied with the requirements of the Citizenship Act and are now ready to take the oath of citizenship and become Canadian citizens. Thank you very much. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Je vous souhaite la bienvenue à votre cérémonie de citoyenneté. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your citizenship ceremony. I must tell you, you are looking awfully serious. This is a joyous occasion. This land was first inhabited by indigenous peoples. I would like to acknowledge that this ceremony is taking place on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit and the Haudenosaunee Nation. Before I go any further, I'd like to acknowledge and introduce the esteemed group of people behind me on the, on the platform. First of all, we have Andreas Griffith, constituency assistant, who will be speaking later on behalf of the Honorable Carolyn Bennett, Member of Parliament for Toronto St. Paul's. Let's make him feel welcome. Andreas, thank you for coming. <laughs> then we have our host, for this evening, Mr. Nick D. Donato, President and CEO of Liberty Entertainment Group. Thank you for having us this evening. <laughs> and finally, we have Ms. Karush Nalini Ravine Tirarasa, member of the Kiwanis Club of Casaloma. <laughs> and those two impressive looking gentlemen behind me in the scarlet tunics. We have Constable Danny Zaya and Constable Sam Rouleau from the RCMP. I have it on good authority that Constable Danny Zaya's mum is among the new Canadians today. So isn't that even more special to have him here? Yeah, we can applaud that. Every February, Canadians of all backgrounds celebrate Black History Month. And we do this by recognizing and celebrating the recent and historical contributions of Black Canadians to our country. This year's theme is Canadians of African descent going forward, guided by the past. Black Canadians have made diverse and vital contributions to our national identity and have had an impact on Canadian life in ways that cannot be forgotten. Well, isn't this a special evening indeed? And is more importantly, 
isn't this a wonderful location? It's just absolutely marvelous to be here in Casa Loma. Such a beautiful location, and we thank you again for inviting us, Mr. DiTonato. Today is special because in a few moments, you will be sworn in as Canadian citizens. Today's ceremony is a final step in the journey that began when you first made the decision to come to Canada and make a new life for yourself and your family. Many of you have traveled far. You have had to struggle to make a new home here. You have had to adapt to a new culture, a new climate, and for some of you, a new language. You have been working or studying or perhaps doing both. You have been working hard to make a new home here. You have learned about Canada and have no doubt been taking part in the everyday activities of your communities. You have embraced this country and are now about to take this exciting next step to become a Canadian citizen. I came to Canada as a 15-year-old immigrant from Pakistan. My parents made the courageous decision to leave what was familiar and comfortable and go halfway around the world for one reason alone, to give their children a better future. My presence before you today is a testament to what a great country Canada is. Becoming a Canadian citizen is essential to developing a true sense of belonging. Today's ceremony provides a wonderful opportunity for all of us to reflect on what citizenship truly means. Canadian citizenship provides you with rights and freedoms that are not found in many other countries in the world today. Indeed, as a Canadian citizen, you live in a democratic country where individual rights and freedoms are respected. You have the right to vote and run as a candidate. You are free to live and work in any province or territory. You have freedom of expression. Women and men are equal under the law. Canadian citizenship also comes with responsibilities. The responsibility to vote, to serve on a jury when called upon, to obey the law, to take responsibility for oneself and one's family. I see someone's trying to compete with me. <laughs> If your child is unsettled, feel free to take them outside until they are settled and able to return. Clearly, this freedom of speech thing went a little too far. <laughs> Canada is a bilingual country and has two official languages, English and French. You and your family have the opportunity to learn English and French. And I encourage all of you to do so as this will allow you to experience all that Canada has to offer. Being a Canadian means standing up and saying, we are ready to make a difference, to help others, to respect others, and to work with our neighbors to build a better city, province, and country. Ladies and gentlemen, the future of Canada depends on all of us together. Madam Clerk, I'm ready to administer the vote.
vous pour la prestation du serment de citoyenneté. Would the candidates for citizenship and everyone in this room please stand. Judge Simmons will now administer the oath of citizenship. You must repeat the oath phrase by phrase after Judge Simmons. Now please raise your right hand and repeat the oath of citizenship after Judge Simmons. At this time, I would like to invite the guests who are here today, who are already Canadian citizens, to feel free to join us, raise your right hand, and thereby reaffirm your citizenship on this special day. We're going to begin in French. Give it your best shot. Donc, nous commençons à français. Je joue. Je joue. Que je serai fidèle. Que je serai fidèle. Et porterai. Et porterai. Sincère allégeance. Sincère allégeance. À sa majesté. À sa majesté. La reine. La reine. Elisabeth II. Ses héritiers, ses héritiers et successeurs que j'observerai fidèlement les lois du Canada et que je remplirai loyalement mes obligations de citoyen. Canadian. Canadian. Très bien. And now in English. I swear, I swear that I will be faithful, I will be faithful and, bear true allegiance and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, to Her Majesty Queen, Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, Queen of Canada. Her, heirs and successors, Her heirs and successors. And that, I will and that I will faithfully observe, faithfully observe the, laws of Canada, the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties, and fulfill my duties as a Canadian citizen. Félicitations à tous. Vous êtes maintenant des citoyens du Canada. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You are now Canadian citizen. Bravo. Please be seated. I will now call your names. Come to the front of the room, receive your certificate from Judge Simmons, then go to the back of the room, sign the oath form, then come back to your seat.
Judge Simmons, the oath taking and presentation of the certificate is now completed. Thank you very much. It is now time to hear some words of greeting and welcome from our special guests. We will begin with Mr. Andres Griffiths, the constituency assistant, who will be speaking on behalf of the Honorable Carolyn Bennett, Member of Parliament for Toronto St. Paul. On behalf of Carolyn Bennett, the Member of Parliament for Toronto St. Paul's, I would like to offer my warmest congratulations on becoming a Canadian citizen. We acknowledge that the land we are meeting on is on the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations and Inuit and Métis people. I would now like to share a message from MP Carolyn Bennett. As a Canadian citizen, you're an important part of the Canada's national community. As Canadians, we have much to be proud of. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms, our dem democratically elected parliament, and the fundamental freedom to debate issues that are important to us, and so much more. Your citizenship brings with it many privileges and responsibilities. Yesterday, the Immigration Minister, the Honorable Marco Mendicino, introduced a bill to amend the Citizenship Act to change Canada's oath of citizenship. The proposed amendment reflects our commitment to reconciliation and a renewed relationship with Indigenous peoples based on a recognition of rights, respect, cooperation, and partnership. Canada has always benefited from the advo advocacy and efficacy of a strong civil society and engaged citizenry in finding solutions to the challenges facing this vast, diverse country. It is the responsibility of members of Parliament to listen to your concerns and voice them in Parliament. This vital partnership makes for a better government and country. Again, congratulations on becoming a Canadian citizen and best wishes for a happy and prosperous future in Canada. Next, we're going to be hearing from our host. A little few words about Mr. Nick DiDonato. Mr. DiDonato earned his Bachelor of Science and a professional engineering degree from the University of Toronto with 25 years of design and construction experience, as well as simultaneously working in the food service industry, Mr. Di Donato leads one of Canada's most recognized and successful hospitality, nightlife, and entertainment companies. He is the president and CEO of Liberty Entertainment Group and our host this evening. Let's welcome Mr. Nick Di Donato. Thank you, and again, congratulations to all of you. It is really a special moment, and I think it's one that you will remember for, for most of your life. Uh, I'm here uh, for, for two main purposes. One is as host to welcome you to uh, this beautiful facility, Casa Loma, which is, I am privileged to be uh, operating in, for the city of Toronto. So this is Toronto's castle, and hopefully you will be back one day. And when your friends from abroad come, hopefully you will be here and visiting Casa Loma. So welcome to Casa Loma. It is a spectacular property, and we're so pleased to be able to host this wonderful event for you today. The second reason I'm here is because I am much like you, and I want to inspire you. Uh, my father immigrated to Canada when I was four years old and brought his family here from Italy with the aspirations of giving his family a brighter future. He accomplished that. Uh, you know, coming to Canada, I had the opportunity to go to the University of Toronto in the engineering uh, department, became an engineer, but also had the opportunity to work with, with uh, many different organizations in the hospitality. And this culminated into a very successful career in the hospitality industry and Liberty Entertainment Group, which I created. It was the ability to come to Canada and having an education and working through this wonderful country's uh, ability to provide their citizens. And so it inspired me to inspire my children and my children are now 26 and 30 years old. My son, who I wanted to be educated is one is a, a lawyer working for Stegman Elliott. And my other son is now a doctor with his own medical practice. This all comes from my father coming from abroad on a ship back in 1958 to come to a country where he felt was an opportunity and a place for his children to grow. So now three generations have been able to be successful and had the privilege of being Canadians. One thing I think is really important, this has uh, happened for me recently though, 
is Canada allows us to have our ties with our countries, our place of birth. Canada allows us to represent our culture and keep our culture. We're not a melting pot. We actually are a, a, a society of multiculturalism. And Canada respects our heritage. Uh, in November, I had a, a letter from the Honorable Justin Trudeau stating that he would allow me to receive a special honor from the country of my birth. In January of this year, I was knighted in the country of Italy as a citizen of Italy. And that allows me to be an Italian, a proud Italian, but also be an incredibly proud Canadian. So this is what this country is. It's a country of opportunity. It's a country for your children to grow. It's a, it's a place where we, as a community, can enjoy our multi-diverse cultures and maintain those cultures while being Canadians. So I hope you remember this day. I hope your children remember this day and will grow to be great Canadian citizens. And I hope you make Canada proud. So thank you all for coming and congratulations. Thank you so much, Nick, for your inspirational <laughs> message. Our final speaker is here to talk a little bit actually lives the message of giving back to the country. So our final speaker is, is Ms. Karishnalini Ravintra Rasa, who is a member of the Kiwanis Club of Casaloma. She is a Bachelor of Commerce degree from the, has a Bachelor of Commerce degree from the from Ryerson University. She is about to finish her CFA designation, and I understand is, is working on her MBA as well. So she's got plenty of free time, I understand. In her, in her spare time, she works full-time for the Royal Bank of Canada as a business account manager. Let's hear from Karishna Lini. Good evening, everyone. My name is Krishna. I'm a member of Qantas Club of Casaloma. My parents emigrated to Canada in the hopes of providing a better and safer future for their children escaping from a country that was torn by civil war at that time. We are a first generation Canadian family who have now fully embraced life in this glorious country. I have been fortunate enough to complete my post-secondary education, pursue a career in the financial services industries, and further pursue my graduate studies without discrimination for my race or my gender. I truly believe it is a privilege to be a Canadian citizen as one has provided endless opportunities for growth and pro prosperous life. As a Canadian, I take pride in giving back to the community as I have received generously from this very community in the past, and this is closely reflected in the values of Qantas Club of Casaloma as well. Qantas Club of Casaloma is very proud to co-host the citizenship ceremony with Liberty Entertainment Group. I would like to extend my congratulations and best wishes to the new Canadians and much success in your future. All the best. Thank you so much. Speaking of thanks, I'd like to take this opportunity to once again thank our esteemed platform party. I'd like to thank the staff here at this beautiful location of Casaloma. As Nick said a few minutes ago, hopefully you will return and you'll say, that's the place that I became a Canadian, and isn't it beautiful? So thank you to them, to the staff here. Speaking of thanks, speaking of staff, we have a marvelous staff in the IRCC office in Scarborough. They work so hard and do a magnificent job. And we have many of, some of their representatives here. We've got Tina, Sheena, and Zuska. Let's give them a warm round of applause. And of course, the clerk of our ceremony who led us through our paces so admirably for spending hours practicing in front of the mirror all those difficult names, <laughs> Ms. Lorenza Samartin. Let's give her a warm round. And of course, we cannot forget the two gentlemen from the RCMP, they helped to make this evening so much more special. Thank you so much for coming today. When Lorenza started the ceremony, she announced that there were 64 candidates for citizenship from 
27 different countries. And certainly it gives us pause that we started the ceremony with 64 people from 27 different countries. But we are ending with 64 people from one country. And so I say to you all, Felicitations à tous et bienvenue dans la grande famille canadienne. Congratulations to you all and welcome to the Canadian family. As you take your rightful place in our society, proceed with the confidence that you are valued. You now share in making Canada stronger and more vibrant. Your success is now our success. In this country, diversity is our strength. And we truly hold precious the qualities of respect, tolerance, kindness. While very few of us share in the same past, as Canadians, all of us can share in the same future. I wish you all a long, peaceful, and prosperous life in this, your chosen land. As we get ready to bring this very special ceremony to a close, we always end by singing the Canadian National Anthem. Well, this evening, this anthem takes on added significance for you because you will be singing it for the first time as a Canadian. Cette hymne est maintenant votre hymne nationale. Alors entonnez-le avec force et fierté. This is now your national anthem. Sing it loud and sing it proud. I invite you at this time to feel free to fish into the package you were given. I told you we've got a marvelous staff. And there you will find the words. We will be doing the bilingual version. Now I'm sure most of you will not need to consult the words since no doubt you were up late last night memorizing the words to the anthem and the oath. I'm seeing a few guilty looks. <laughs> Perhaps you were watching the Leaf game instead. We'll let that go. That's why we've provided you with the words. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we want everyone to know that 64 new Canadians have joined the family. Let's let them know with our voices. But I'm clear. S'il vous plaît, levez-vous pour entonner notre hymne national. Please all rise for the singing of our national anthem. standing.
congratulations on becoming Canadian citizens. As our newest Canadian, you are eligible for a cultural access pass. It's an app that you have to go and download. It's called Canoe. This will give you free access for one year to more than 1,400 plus locations, such as art galleries, historic site park, science center, and more. Again, go download the app. It's free for, for one year from today's date. It's, the, it's a special gift just for you from the Institute for Canadian Citizenship. On your certificate, please make sure that your name is spelled correctly, the gender male or female, also make sure your date of birth is also correct. If you have any questions or require corrections, please see me before you leave. Your certificate is not a travel document, so therefore you need to apply for a Canadian passport. Anytime as of Friday, you can go to the passport office and apply for your Canadian passport. If you'd like to take pictures with George Simmons and the platform party, they will be back. Please line up and one by one, make it a long lasting souvenir. Also, there's a special reception at the back of the room. So please make sure, uh, feel free to mingle and enjoy yourself again. Congratulations and enjoy the rest of your evening. Congratulations and thank you very much um, for giving us the time to talk. I'm from Iavas. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Uh, as an immigrant myself, it is a, it's a pleasure for me to preside over a ceremony such as this and welcome new Canadians into the family, just as I was welcomed many years ago. So this is a, a privilege and a pleasure. Uh, this is the Iyawaz TV, and it's uh, Pakistani uh, in Urdu, and it is for community. So would you like to say... Nice, good words. Unfortunately, my Urdu is very, very weak because I came when I was very young. But I, so it's very broken and I don't want to be disrespectful. But uh, I want to say that I, I was born in, in Pakistan, in Karachi, and came here as a 14-year-old. And uh, it has been, uh, it's, it's been a wonderful uh, immigrant experience and I'm delighted to be here at the moment. We are so proud of you when I heard this, that you are such a big success. You worked hard and you, uh, like, uh, it's great. You know, the, the whole idea of having, at a ceremony such as this, when people can see someone that looks like me uh, presiding, it gives them the motivation to say that I can do anything. And the reality is, one can do anything as an immigrant in Canada. We are welcoming, we welcome everyone, and one can do anything, and that's what it's all about. One last question, what's the key of your success? Well, first of all, as you know, coming from Pakistan, it's parents who believe in education and very strict enforcing, making sure you work hard, maintain studies, and, and that, that's the key from, from childhood. And that's something that, that was always instilled in us, that there's no shortcuts. You work hard, you, you get a good education, and if, if you put that in place, anything is possible. Any good message you want to give? Other than to say, anyone can do anything they wish if you work hard. And I'm delighted to be speaking to you today. It's a pleasure and an honor. Thank you very much. Nice May I have your name, please? Lorenza St. Martin. You conducted the ceremony great, so good. It was so pleasure watching this. Thank you so much. I do that almost every day. <laughs> this is part of the work that we do at the Scarborough um, IRCC office. I'm a clerk of the ceremony and I work in conjunction with the judge. So uh, how do you feel when people are getting the citizenship? Oh, it's such a, um, it's such a pleasure. It's, uh, it brings me happiness to see the reaction, um, their emotion especially. It's very, it's very fulfilling. I'm glad to do what I do. Uh, since, by the way, the Women's Day is coming, would you like to say any message, anything for the women? For the women, yes. Stay strong, be positive, and um, you women are great. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was a pleasure watching all the ceremony and, and pleasure meeting you too. Pleasure to have you. Thank you.